Hello Libra, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So for the whole week here, whatever is important this week for you guys to know. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Celtic, Cross, Spread. What is important for Libra, please, to know this week? One more. The Six of Cups. Okay, so we have someone you might have known it may be a past connection very nostalgic type of energy we'll see okay libra the sun did you guys have the king of pentacles for february or one of the reading you guys i feel like we're getting this king of pentacles a lot okay are we leaving this behind we'll talk about it <laughs> the six of wands i've mentioned it that that's your stalking card as well the lovers in your hopes and fears and the four of cups yeah that is something from the nostalgia harmonious energy messages here for some of you from a past connection someone now has been thinking for some time to take action there's been a crossroads the sun overall this is your happiness your joy that's what you're dealing with and it's being crossed by this king of pentacles it can be financial abundance but i think it's more of that more than that it's something tangible, though, because the King of Pentacles is crossing this joy, vitality. Even I feel like, in a way, uh, it's like someone's purpose here. Look at the Ace of Wands. This is all happening because of this new spark, new beginning, the fire energy here. It's like that initiation. It's like it's, it's from the sun, from this happiness, joy. It's like, is this finally, you know, the, the, the beginning that I wanted? You have two aces, guys, in your, when it comes to why this whole reading, you know, is happening. What it is at the heart. Yes, this is what you have to deal with, which means that, again, there's a lot of warmth there, but also there's someone that is very much optimistic, does not shy away. There's ego-driven, of course, with the sun, but I feel like in this situation, looking at the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles here, two potential one very tangible you're looking uh, at it in a more practical way but actually underneath it is not as with that ace of pentacles okay let's see here um what what we have to offer and it is for some of you very strong with the lovers in your hopes and fear regarding a person this is what drives you this is what you want physical action um passionate but you think like the best possible outcome is to be more practical and see this. Why? Maybe because in the past here with the Ten of Swords, something ended very badly. There was here a painful situation. Maybe because of this ending, there's this beautiful new beginnings here now that you're ready to start. But the King of Pentacles, we know, has a very practical approach. The King of Pentacles needs to know that in this situation, I feel like it's all that pentacle here, things are bringing security, stability. But there's something here that has been very painful and we will see why. Now, the immediate thing is that someone feels, um, I'm going to stand here and overcome all the obstacles and challenges. I know it's not easy. It's like there's a blockage. You have the five of wands, six of wands and seven of wands. So we know this is, it's a little bit of a competition externally here. Having the five of wands, someone may still struggle because look at you. You are looking at yourself as the true, um, I don't want to say here the true hero. It's like as the one here that has, you know, this trophy. And that's why the seven of wands is because it's someone is defending their honor. It defending, it's defending themselves. There's boundaries. You know, this is who I am. This is what I deserve. That's your attitude. This is how I need to be seen. So if I'm going to be seen that way, we have egos here plenty, by the way, guys, with uh, the sun there and Jupiter in Leo here, but not in a bad way. I'm not saying that all of us, you know, have the sun in our chart. It's just something here that I need to shine. I need here to be seen as accomplished or, you know, the attention that I deserve. Externally, though, someone, unless someone is jealous here, that is uh, like a struggle as someone is looking at you this way 
I don't know if it's like, oh, I cannot, you know, look at you where you are and look at me. I'm still struggling. I still feel like I have to compete. That is a struggle. And the seven of wands is like someone that is feeling like they have to defend themselves for the obstacles or when it comes to this success. You're hoping, though, that this person is your true lover. This person is the, the other half here or the one that you feel magnetically pulled. You're hoping that this is what it is. I don't know if because you're looking so confident here and you want to give it a practical chance, you feel like this is passionate. I don't know if there's a trust issue because of this seven of wands. You are going to feel or the potential outcome is that there is an offer here that someone is still considering. There is that emotion that is still being considered. It's not the most active energy with the, the four of cups but it's just still lingering and looking should i accept it should i not is this the right moment is this my happiness so let's see let's see what's going on Let's see, what is the sun here about? One more. Wow, the two of pentacles. It's like regarding something here that you have been juggling options. But now you feel like something is coming here as a great potential. What is this, please? One more. Okay, guys, it is about a choice. Two of Pentacles and Two of Wands. But I feel like with the sun now, you are able to see what is um, your true happiness or what is your joy. What brings you, um, you know, the best possible choice. Something you have juggled and now you can see clearly what leads to happiness. It can be between two people. It can be between a career move here. Or remember, you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles between these two energies. So I go here with this passion, new beginning here that brings passion and excitement. Or do I look at it in a more practical way? Those, I feel like you're juggling these Aces, but both of them have a lot of potential. Both of them have, um, it's like a happiness or optimism into it. It's just what works best for you. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, please. I feel like the King of Pentacles is looking mostly at that Ace of Pentacles, but we will see. One more. Capricorn, very Capricorn energy, these two together. It doesn't have to be. But the King of Pentacles is someone that does not take unnecessary risk. Is holding very, very, very much tightly to whatever they feel like it's theirs, their own. Very, I'm getting a very possessive energy, by the way, with these two. One more. Yep, the Six of Pentacles. Something needs to be shared. Now, these two together, the Four of Pentacles does not share, the Six of Pentacles share. And there's, again, another situation of that choice that you'll find yourself. It's like with the Sun, to me, again, uh, I feel like it's true... Um, True enthusiasm, chasing thrills, thrilling type of uh, connection or happiness. But this King of Pentacles um, does not share easily or has a hard time making this, um, like you know, opening up or making this choice because they are very much driven by a certain stability, security, or money. It's like, I want to make this choice, I want to go towards this. It's like someone has more than another person here. Who has to share? Who has to open up? A lot of pentacles, guys. A lot of pentacles. So to me, it is someone's security and stability. But that's what's crossing this person. Someone has to share and open up. And they're having a difficulty here doing that. And that's why that four of cups still lingers there. What is this ace of wands? Sometimes I can kind of shuffle. What is this Ace of Wands? One more. 
yeah you see there's we have communication this is a new beginning regarding someone that has finally uh, felt like i don't want to um not talk or to kind of think of all of these scenarios but nothing happening we have communication fire and air very uh, instantaneous very action oriented this new beginning it has to do with communication and a decision something that has been blocked for some time now it's coming to fruition remember this is mostly for some of you it can be what starts this whole situation but I, we will see also the ace of pentacles because as i mentioned this is between two choices here that you have to make but if you have been blocked or not being able to communicate or your thoughts have, have not been clear it's just this impulsive new beginning here that sets you free from whatever blockages mentally especially when it comes to communication why is the Ten of Swords here, please? One more. The Four of Cups. There was here the timing or someone uh, rejected here. Very negative thinking. Someone has been in this obsessive, continuously thinking and thinking and about this cup and feeling like the timing was bad or someone really got rejected here what is this it's like someone did not consider this offer or love one more yeah there was here a potential for more marriage commitment but the ten of swords tells me that the end there was ending painful betrayal or ending here and now you are facing beginnings. It's still here, guys. It's still here. What is this Ace of Pentacles? One more. Oh my God. Some of you may be dealing with Capricorn, and I'm saying because I'm getting Capricorn a lot, but it doesn't have to be. What is this new beginning? Is it something here that really, with the devil, feels like safe? And I'm saying because the devil can get, get very comfortable here when it comes to a matter of convenience. Or a chance here of what has been obsessive, obsessing continuously. What does the devil represent here? One more. The Queen of Pentacles. That's why I'm feeling Capricorn energy. Money. We have a pair, guys. We may have a married um, couple here or two people that are bound by um, their wealth, money, and possessions. That's why you have to make that choice. One more. Yeah, there's been certain things here, um, mysterious, uh, hidden. The Queen of Pentacles with the High Priestess also is coming as a very secretive uh, person. Someone here that was unavailable or someone may be lasting here or wanting, but always we know with the High Priestess, it's not really in the physical sometime. Um, there's something here that you're looking at a chance Libra, but you know that there's other things that tie you to this person that feels forbidden or feels right now unavailable. And that's why the you are going between these two chances and trying to see what is, you know, your true happiness here. Why is the seven of wands? One more. It's like someone feels like, you, uh, I'm going to stand here and I'm going to uh, feel like this is my um, true hope. That's I, like I'm getting a fighter. I'm getting a warrior with this. You are in a very uh, tough position. And I'm saying because, the, uh, again, of the aces coming here, the potential that the sun is your overall situation. So no matter what, happiness is knocking on your door here. How are you going to handle? Are you afraid of because of someone here in the past this did not happen this connection or marriage or commitment 
or someone here has to let go of something else in order to follow the true happiness. But if I look at the devil, I know that there's always something that keeps us tied. This is like I'm standing my ground here. I'm not accepting anything. I'm fighting here for one, when it comes to my wish fulfillment or when it comes to what brings me hope. It's like a very determined um, type of energy. Because why? You feel with the six of wands, you deserve it. This, you feel like I need this recognition. I need to be seen in this way. I need to be the one. There's a public persona here, by the way, with the six of wands. Show me off. <laughs> or I need, again, to be seen in the best light. What is the six of wands? One more. Six and six. Six of wands and six of swords. You feeling like this recognition is going to help you move forward in um, or transition here in something much smoother. What do you need to let go? What do you need to move on? Very harmonious, both of these sixes, but it is about moving to something here that brings you that recognition. What is this six of swords? One more. Towards your happily ever after, the ten of cups. That's your attitude. So you're going to handle this like a champion, by the way, with a six of wands, no matter what. Because you know what it is that leads to your happiness. What is this five of wands? Oops. Okay, two cards fell. So look what fell. The five of cups and the ace of wands. Oh, do we end the five of pentacles? I didn't even see this. Okay. We have someone, a lot of fives. External to you, someone is going through a lot of obstacles, challenges, pining. We have feeling left out, pining, loss. Why? Because again, there's still this ace of wands here. There's still this passion. There's still this part. It's like someone is fighting it. Someone feels like they have to fight it. That's the external... Um, situation that is affecting you there's still you are looking at the harmonious energy you're looking to get out of those fives of those obstacles but external to you that there's still a lot of juggling um fear it's like the passion is there but someone is going through all of these obstacles externally to you this may be how they see you this may be your person what is the lovers here please one more You're waiting for someone to come here forward with that Knight of Pentacles and make the best uh, approach towards you, action. What is this Knight of Pentacles? Really, the Earth element here is very strong. One more. The Page of Cups. Are you hoping someone will come here consistent? Are you hoping to make the best um, choice, as I mentioned here, or action towards this person? But we have love. We have love, we have emotions, we have expressing emotions in a best, consistent, known um, way. The Knight of Pentacles is someone you can count to be there for you. It's not going to be one moment here or like sometimes like the Knight of Wands, which can, you know, come forward with passion and then leave you out in the cold. This is a consistent energy of love and that's what you're hoping for. Tell me about the Four of Cups. One more. Okay, and the Tower came out. Two Major Arcanas. That's why I feel like you're dealing with a lot. It's like someone here is looking at this connection, this love, with some type of distraction or some type of foundation coming here, um, crumbling down. And I will mention that's why it's very important. Here's like, is this what truly here I want? This is what brings growth, love, unconditional love. And what will be here something else that needs to come down? What will be this revelation or what has been built? So it's, I feel like that's going to be lingering, but uh, it's because of this situation externally here that still someone is going through those uh, obstacles. There is an offer here. There is an emotion that's still be lingering. The person is contemplating, what do I do? These two major, um, Venus and Mars, by the way, <laughs> it's interesting. We have love and then we have the assertion. We have the warrior. And Mars here in um, 
Leo as well. As I mentioned, this is the warrior that is fighting here for the true happiness. But you have, you or your person here has to make this um, choice or contemplate this offer with the intentions here that if something happens, whatever this foundation or this um, revelation comes in, is our love strong enough to make it? That's what that contemplation here. Is it worth it? What is going to happen? Because I, like, I, no, there's not a repeat from the past with a Ten of Swords. I really hope this resonates with you guys. As usual, in the extended, we will talk about your love life and see who is coming towards you. If you're interested, you can find the weeklist in the description box below. The link will be found below. Thank you. Bye-bye.